okay, hi, I'm Kilian. I'm part of the Ego N team. And uh, yeah, what is Egon? Egon is a project that's funded by the Economic Affairs Ministry of Germany. And um, it's an open planning tool across all grid levels and sectors to determine the optimal deployment of expansion and flexibility options in Germany. And it mainly can be split into two working phases. The first working phase is a database, uh, a data pipeline based on a patch airflow. And the second one is a top down optimization of all grid levels. So, next one. Uh, it considers all voltage levels in the German electricity grid, as well as all sectors like heat, gas, and mobility. And it completely follows an open source and open data approach. Next slide. Um, you can just go for the next click. Uh, it's cre it creates consistent data, especially in temporarily highly resolved for all sectors based on open data, and it's published on the open database in the end. Next one. Um, but also with this data created, we also create synthetic distribution grid data for the whole of Germany with the tool Dingo. Next one. And like I said, it's all as well published on the open energy database in the end. Not yet, but it will be. And uh, next one is then the top-down optimization. First, we use Etrago, which also uses pipes in the background for the power flow to optimize the grid in the extra high voltage and high voltage level. Um, and with this constraints from the extra high voltage and high voltage level, we use a disco to optimize as well the MV and IV levels um, and optimize the flexibility and grid expansion needs. Next one. Um, I won't go deep into this. This is just to show you that we have two scenarios, one uh, for which is based on the NETS Entwicklungsplan, Network Development Plan for 2035, and so from the version 2021, and one with the 100% renewable energy targets. So all sectors differ in the electrification grade, and uh, we use a lot of flexibilities like storage, charging processes, demand site management, curtailment, power grid expansion, and so on. Next one. So the most important part for you is which data you can get from the open energy database, like generate generation capacities, geolocated generation capacities are down to each plant for heat and electricity with also the time series. Next one. Uh, yeah, hourly time service per plant or consumer for electricity, heat, transport, gas, hydrogen consumption, and uh, all the flexibilities. So the next one. Uh, grid topologies for extra high voltage, which are based on the OSMG TIGI mod, and MV and LV synthetic grid topologies generated with Dingo, and gas transmission system based on cycle high grid gas. Exactly. Next one. And uh, we don't model the heat grids, but also we can find feed in and feed out of those heat grids. Yeah, and that's it. If you have any questions, we also have two posters outside. <laughs>